right, ladies and gentlemen, I present you guys with my sixth episode of Pokemon Go vlog series, and I was meaning to do that about two uploads ago, so I apologize for the delay. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get on with the proper introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Mega Crasher is here, and I present you guys with our sixth episode of the Pokemon Go vlog series. Now, this episode is not going to be as big as the other ones because not as much took place in that period of time because I was mostly out downtown with my friends, clubbing, drinking up, having a good time. But I thought I'd share with you guys a couple of things that took place and something else that I want to show you guys. So, with that being said, my friends, let's get started. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that I got to show you guys is take a look beside me at this. This is what came out of an egg. I hatched myself a Tauros with a CP of over 1,000! I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is so insane! This is absolutely insane! I'm just like, what the hell? Like, I was not expecting this, one. Secondly, even if a Tauros did come out of an egg, I was not expecting for the CP to be that freaking high! Now, mind you, its charge attack is not really that good with four attack being at only base 25 power, whereas it could have other attacks like Earthquake, for example, that has a much higher base power. But, you know what? Nonetheless, it is still a very good and very solid Pokemon, and it is one of my most powerful Pokemon in the collection. And speaking of most powerful Pokemon in my collection, allow me to present you guys with this bad boy. That's right. What I have in my possession happens to be a Flareon whose CP is nearly in the 1400s. And the thing of it is, its CP is not even maxed out. Just imagine if I maxed out that bad boy. It would probably be well over 1400. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking with one pump up, it would be well over 1400. Considering that I am at level 21, still at level 21, I mean, I didn't have much of an experience grind last night. But, nonetheless, I want to show you guys this amazingly powerful Pokemon. I evolved it from an Eevee that I caught that had uh, mid to high 500s, and it was just incredible. I mean, Flareon, without a shadow of a doubt, is one of the most powerful Pokemon to use in combat, because it has just such a high base attack, and not to mention, its charge up attack, that being Heat Wave, is actually really, really good. I mean, Heat Wave may not be as powerful as Fire Blast, as Fire Blast, I think, has a, a base power of 100 in Pokemon Go. I can't quite remember, maybe 120. Not too sure, but Heat Wave being at a very solid base 80 is nothing to scoff at, because it will blow you back. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to show you another Pokemon that I happened to have hatched from an egg last night. That's right. Take a look beside me. We have ourselves a Magnemite. Now, where I live, Magnemites are pretty damn uncommon. They're pretty rare. I mean, I don't live anywhere near an industrial area. I mean, I would have to drive all the way to Dartmouth, for God's sakes, to uh, even have a slightly bigger chance of catching Magnemite. But this right here is absolutely amazing. I was not expecting this. And I also wasn't expecting for its CP to be relatively high, in my opinion. I mean, 463 CP is actually really good for a first stage Pokemon. Now, just imagine, just imagine once this bad boy evolves, it is going to be lit. I have always, always, always wanted a Magneton because Magneton, I believe, is one of the best electric types of first generation. I mean, you also combine the fact that it is a electric steel typing. It has so many resistances up and down the wazoo. It is absolutely insane. Holy shit. But anyways, man, this this is just this is incredible. I mean, I did say that we weren't going to have as much to talk about here, but I mean, regardless of whether uh, how many time how many things we have to talk about here, it is always, always exciting to share with you guys the results that I have acquired on that night, or any given night for that matter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is going to conclude the sixth episode of our Pokemon Go vlog series. However, I do have something that I want to show you guys uh, at the very end of this video because uh, th this is something that I kind of thought would be really funny to share. Uh, it involves a little pre-drinking shenanigans before myself and a few of my buddies went downtown that night. So, with that being said, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and also enjoy what I'm about to show you. 
But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you fire up a like. And let's see if we can aim for a modest 15 likes. Because I know that this wasn't as big of a Pokemon Go vlog. So I kind of want to dumb down the like a little bit. You know, just to be fair. And if you want more content like this, make sure you rate, comment, share this channel, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crasher in the community for the best Pokemon Sun and Moon news I first today on YouTube. Because you already know the deal, but I'm my friends, when we're a community type pack on this one, you know that we shine brighter than the sun and the moon combined. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next upload. Crash, you're gonna take a shot of uh, Smirnoff. Smirnoff vodka, baby. 40% alcohol. Whenever you're ready, man. I'm chasing the son of a bitch down with some beer. Alright, let's do it. Man, haven't done this since fucking forever. Yeah, count it down. 3, 2, 1, go! And there you have it, ah. <laughs> He is getting drunk tonight. Look at him. He can't handle. Oh, I he can, can handle. I can, and guess what? Guess what we're doing later on tonight? We're playing Pokemon Go. Yes, Get out the water from baby. Whatever you say, bro. Whatever you say. <laughs>